All right, first and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters also, and the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. This is uh, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. So we coming into some times of a lot of our people being tested to see their worth. We are coming into a time of great trial, great tribulation. The scriptures calls it Jacob's trouble. And it tells you in Jeremiah 30 and 7 that he will be saved out of it, speaking of the elect of Jacob. So all the Israelites during that time who are still on earth are going to experience a lot of trial, a lot of tribulation, a lot of suffering. A lot of our people don't believe that racism still exists. A lot of our people think it's a myth, it's imaginary, it's made up now. You know, you're, you're stuck in time. Us being in this truth, we understand that we're hated because we are dealing with a lot of knuckleheads, man. A lot of rebellious people who are stuck in their ways, who have fallen for the lie, who fell for the, the bait and trap. So marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you, it shouldn't be a surprise unto you. It shouldn't be a surprise unto me that people, they, they, they treat us like we're the scum of the earth, like we're the bottom of their shoe. Here it is with all these wicked demonic ass people who stab each other in the back. Some of the most loyal and dependable men on earth in the flesh are the men in this truth who are sincerely serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. So if a person hates an individual such as one who is just, such as one who tries to be fair, such as one who speaks truth, well, to hell with them then. That just shows who they are. That just shows they're going to be destroyed. All right? But we have to endure whatever hate comes our way. And we experience it everywhere. You know, I experience hatred from my family. I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, siblings, close family. All right. The majority of all my brothers, if not all my brothers, they hate me. You know, my, my sisters, I don't talk to my sisters or I don't know them that well. You know, just just a broken family already. And then coming into the truth, it just kind of broken up some more. I was kind of close to certain individuals more than others, but I, I, would, I would have considered myself a family orientated type brother. Well, all that came to an end a long time ago. So if my own family can hate me, I'd be an idiot to marvel if the world hates me too. People in this truth, they hate me. If I go to my job, people hate me, you know? Uh, just a lot, man. You know, I have a, I have a son and a daughter. You know, my daughter, she just, I don't know. She got ways about her to where it's like, look, in my mind, you're either of the elect or you're not. And a lot of women are emotional when it comes to this truth. You know, I know my daughter may not like hearing how a man can have multiple wives and this and that. It, it don't fucking matter. You either go on get with it <laughs> or you just not going to get with it and you're going to get left and that's not up to me to decide okay so the, the hate can come from your own household can come from you know siblings it can come from your people at your work 
men in this truth, women in this truth, women in the world, just hated by so many people without cause, man. You know, you, you try to be civil, you try to be fair, balanced, you know, and, and you're hated because the spirit that's in you, the spirit that's in us is different from this world. So this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 3. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. Let's go into that word appointed in Greek 27 and 49. The word is kimai. It says to lie of an infant, of one buried, of things that quietly cover some spot of a city situated on a hill of things put or set in any place in ref in reference to which we often used to stand of vessels of a throne of the side of a city let me see so the the main point i want to bring out is here uh it says metaphorically to be set, destined, appointed. So any affliction, any time that we go through burdens, whatever we go through, whoever hates us, whoever's, you know, giving us a hard time, it was already predestined to happen. It was already written to happen before the foundations of the earth. You might have a great day. That was already written to happen from the foundations of the earth. Okay? Which means what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the one controlling everybody's life. Everything in our life, everything outside of our life. Okay? So we shouldn't be moved, although, you know, people get under our skin. But the persecution, we understand according to 2 Ezra 16, that an insurrection will come upon men and women. Okay? In this truth, do not marvel because, you know, these things have to happen. These things were already written from the foundation of the earth. And that's where faith, that's where what we claim to believe in, right? That's where it's really going to be tested. You know, when this society collapses, when we don't have access to just hearing a brother's voice through a video and being comforted through a lesson, you know, these days are wrapping up very quickly very swift like okay and it's in the scriptures tell you in first john 15 that a servant isn't greater than his master yahweh shai was hated on imagine if yahweh shai was moved by afflictions and he said you know what to hell we're going to we're going to that cross i i changed my mind i ain't dealing with y'all 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 too damn rebellious y'all just don't get it i take back the agreement I made with the Heavenly Father. No, we got to be men about our word. We took an oath. We made a vow when we came into this ministry and we have to keep it against all odds. You know, my mind's already made up. You know, I don't I don't care who hates me, man. I don't care. My my hope is that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai find favor in me. Okay, that, that's my hope. You know, I've been hating my whole life for no reason. I've always kind of been a uh, an outcast, a, a black sheep, not in a strange weirdo type of way, but just in the sense of most people I've been around my whole life, they, they've never been able to uh, really keep up, so to speak, you know, mentally. You know, a lot of people used to tell me when I was younger how mature I was, you know, because of how I thought, but... um. A lot of people in this society, man, they're just immature as all hell. You know, they don't have the mentality to, to suffer for something greater than themselves. You know, people wouldn't even understand what that means. Yeah, I just pulled up to my job here, so. Have to be wrapping this up. Let's go to Romans. Chapter 8 and verse 35. Put my... uh hold on for a second so this is the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 35 who shall separate us 
speaking of the elect of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, we don't know if we're of the elect, but our hope is that we are. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? You know, just like um, speaking of with sword, when you look at uh, one of the 12 disciples, his name, his name was James. Now, he was slew, I believe, by Herod. Herod. Okay? He was slew by the sword for standing up for Yahweh Shai. So, even in cases of men facing even death, men have shown examples in our past of standing stiffly for the Lord. Because if you're of the elect, you have a, a, a particular spirit upon you, you know, that's just different from everybody else. I see a chariot hovering. I'm going to go on ahead and wrap this up, man. I got to get this on camera. You know me. Uh, Kahala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Nothing's going to separate the elect from the Lord. Shalom.